Oh, look at this. It's a real thing, too. Man, that is a spiffy looking car. It's, uh, and they've changed in appearance over the last few years. Uh -huh. um, NASCAR's worked real hard to make them a lot safer. So, so tell me from, from soup to nuts, from start to finish, how do you guys start building one of these? Um, you start under the hood. You have all the, the tubular chassis and everything that's under there. So there are specs anymore for everything. You can tell I don't do this often. Yeah, right. I, I can tell you need a pit crew, man. Yeah. yeah. So there's specs for uh, the weight of the vehicle, the tubing, a lot of the safety stuff that's around it. But you build the chassis, then the body is all, except for the nose and the, and the trunk, is made of fiberglass that's right. provided by the manufacturer. But in here is where the, the real magic has happened lately. Um, these seats are made of carbon fiber, and we've been through some real extensive testing to control the body and an impact and the head. Right. Um, this is a mold that's made of my body and what's comfortable for me, right. contains my head. And we also have a Hans device that goes around the neck. Now you got a whole bunch of stuff on. Do. This does not look like my dashboard, guys. <laughs> it, it looks a little different. It's, uh, so over here's the main power switch. Right. And then uh, the two battery switches here. So we've got two systems of everything in the car from radio boxes, um, ignition boxes and, and battery circuits as well. Right. It's hard to see in here now, but uh, there's a series of five lights, and as uh, the RPM yeah, gets close sort of them, yeah. to the to the limit, to the max, yeah. you uh, you kind of use the gas and brake to maintain that speed for pit road. How much are you talking to to your pit crew the whole time? My job, there, there's no telemetry on the vehicle. Um, a lot of other forms of racing, you can they have active telemetry where you can see what's going on. So I have to be the computer. Every every five to ten laps, I explain where I'm having trouble with the car, so they can keep working on adjustments and combinations of things from tire pressures, adjusting weight and springs and so, things So like you're that. just making a whole series of calculations constantly, even as you're driving. Yeah. It's like, okay, I feel like left tire's a little off or this or that. The Truthfully, other. you feel like you're complaining all the time because all you're doing is telling them what it's doing wrong. <laughs> so at the end of the day, when you see each other, you feel bad almost to a certain right. degree. You're like, man, I've just been complaining all day long to you about this vehicle. And we won, but or we had a good day, so. All right, now tell the truth. Do you get tickets? I haven't had one. You've never had a speeding no. ticket? Is that because the cops, when they pull you over, no, they say, hey, no. Jimmy Johnson. No, I, and then they start talking to you about racing? I think I, I'm able, I'm a good spokesperson for this. I'm able to get out my aggression on the track and keep it off the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not pulling your leg. Now I say that and I'll go get a ticket for tonight on my way home. You want to start it up? Come on, let's do that. I'll make sure we get some throttle to it. He does that smooth, right? Even in a, even in a suit, he, even in a suit, he's got no problems with it. All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That's unbelievable. That's an engine there. Huh? When you're on a straightaway, how fast are you going? Depends on the track, but the fastest track would be about 210 on the straightaway. Now, is there any point where you just go, man, I'm going too fast here? Right when something goes wrong, you think, you know what? Why did I put myself in this situation? <laughs> that's when that's when it really hits you. You need any help? Uh, there we go. All right. Look, he didn't tear up his suit or anything. 